Welcome back guys to the channel. Sunday, May 16th. We have three weeks of dieting left. 27 days from stage day. Honestly, I've been feeling like garbage and no motivation to do anything except eat, sleep, and or just sit um, and wait for the time to pass. I had become a slave to food. But we're almost there, home stretch. But yeah, like I said in every video, we are still sprinting. I still have a little over seven pounds to go in three weeks. So um, things are really, really starting to get tough. As you get leaner, your body has less body fat to use as fuel. So things become even harder. So we're, we're at that stage. I'm not, I'm not as lean as I want to be but we're getting close. So given that we are, we have three weeks of dieting left before peak week, I thought it'd be fitting to do a full day of eating, like a, an actual normal day. In case you guys are curious of how the diet has changed, what type of foods I'm eating, honestly not, not much has changed, just, just the amount, um, but we'll, we'll do that today. And then a little bit of a grocery haul which kind of goes together with what I'm eating at this point in time. So it's a little past 10 now. Um, I've usually been eating my first meal at like 9.30 uh, weekdays and weekends about 10, 10.30. And so for breakfast today, pre-workout meal is a Rice crispy, 150 calories, uh, four grams of fat, one gram of protein, 29 carbs. And then, of course, one s'mores, 210 calories, seven grams of fat, 25 grams of carb, 20 grams of protein. Pre-workout, of course, get the caffeine in. And then we're gonna do a half scoop of some aminos. Amino acids for the extra leucine because it's debated whether you need 20, whether you need 40 grams in each meal to get the full muscle protein synthesis optimization effect. So that's why I supplement there because this is only 20 grams of protein. Um, I think it's fine. Four to six meals of 20 to 40 grams of protein is optimal. But regardless, I'm a big mental case. That's also partially why I do it. And it helps me chug water. Yeah, so pre-workout slash breakfast slash meal number one here. Fast, fast acting carbs to jumpstart the body to get some energy for this gym session and some protein for the muscle protein synthesis. And also carbs. These are better carbs than these carbs. All right, last workout with a mask on, hopefully, because Connecticut is starting to lift restrictions. And so workout from last week starts now. Where's the Benji? Yeah, they just wanna see me in the grave. Come out the lot in the rave. Uh, oh no, I can't wait. You can read what you saw in the day. I was down, I'm up to the play. Got a couple hits, cause you know I can't play. We gon' win it no matter what the shape. Got the stick, we gon' bring it out the street. I was down below the commas. I put dollars on my head like I don't wanna. Yeah, I'm proud of what I did, I'm gonna come up. Yeah, you let me on red, so don't try to run. I want no smoke, then come in peace. Flow so foreign overseas. Got them praying, they like, please. They want cheddar, not no cheese. Undefined, they don't get it, it's amazing. I was down bad in the basement. I would pray to God for a placement. I was never patient, I was always racing. Got me on the drive, that's a flagrant. Little boy, tell me what you're chasing. We gotta do better, gotta be clever, gotta love more, that's a statement. Yeah, they just wanna see me in the grave. Come out the lot in the rave. Uh, oh no, I can't wait. You can read what you saw in the day. I was down, I'm up to the play. Got a couple hits, cause you know I can't play. We gon' win it no matter what the shape. Got the stick, we gon' bring it out the shape. It's silver stuff, yeah, I was just inside of the grave. When I was already in like 3 old days. Shut up on my car, I had a sneeder. Ayy, somebody took a tenant because we the way. Walk around the house, got drip on anyway. They gon' eat it up like it's a dinner date. Seen a Lambo claimed it on the interstate. Claim it's nothing when it's Jesus. 
in the stage, y'all uh. On the phone and silver, it's the game I feel my calendar, I'm losing track of all the days Call me what a boy and I was giving them a name I was sitting on the bench, they had to put me in the game I be from the daughter, they said ashes in my veins Gotta show the guts, but I'll never be ashamed Pushing on the break, the win, I know it's gonna be great Still they celebrate you when your family gon' hate They just wanna see me in the grave I'm out the lot in the rave uh, Oh no, I can't wait You can read what you sow in the day I was down, now I'm up to the plate Got a couple of hits, cause you know I can't play We gon' win it no matter what the shirt Got the stick, we gon' bring it in I'm back like I never left They just treating every song like another check I'm pulling up to every court and I'm calling next They try to end me, now I'm stopping my foot on their neck You'll be surprised what they do for attention Got looks into your heart and intentions I see you judging in all of my mentions I'm out the grave, I thank God for redemption Now I'm taking it a step at a time My future is bright like I turned on the lights It's crazy how I see them right through the blind I used to fix plans, now I'm catching these flight Don't hit my DMs with arrogance I gotta do it with excellence I'm reaching the needy, it's evident And they still in the room with the elephant Alright guys, it's just about 3 o'clock now. I just spent 3 hours at the gym um, because I've been doing 45 minutes of cardio a day so there goes a third of that time and driving there max like 30 minutes. So, been taking a big portion up of my day but we need the cardio, we need to create a bigger deficit since the metabolism has slowed and yeah for cardio i've been doing two and a half incline about four two four three speed um really to to target like 120 to 135 uh, beats per minute on your heart rate right so a steady state and obviously i could run and or do the stairmaster in a shorter amount of time so a little bit of a high intensity but because that takes such a toll on your body and recovery is king right now i like to do a, uh, a cardio choice that is steady state so that my legs aren't absolutely dead and aren't atrophying even further so for me incline walk i think for the majority of bodybuilders that's the choice of cardio as well just some of the steady state 120 to 135 bpm it's a good target range yeah, like I just mentioned, it's three o'clock, so it's about it's been about three or so hours since meal number one, and that's what I've been targeting: three to four hours in between meals. So, time to eat meal number two. Uh, no, it's not gourmet ramen. I actually got bored of it and switched it up, and I've been creating a uh, grilled chicken sandwich with eggs and spinach and onions. It's a little bit of a concoction, but I honestly anything for me tastes really good. At 220 pounds, ask me to eat cooked spinach, and I will refuse. Now, <laughs> cooked spinach with a little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of eggs tastes like the best thing in the world. Here's the ingredients: two whole eggs are going in. I need fat in my diet. I've actually I, <laughs> I actually experimented with. 45 grams of fat, actually 40 grams of fat, which is super low. And my body kind of freaked out and the scale kind of freaked out. So I don't know, weird things happen when you don't eat enough fat. So I've been dumping eggs almost every meal with the yolks. You don't, there's a lot of vitamins, there's a lot of protein and there's good stuff in the yolks. So don't be afraid of yolks if you're not getting enough fat. And a good target for the, the grams of fat in your diet should just be 0.3 times your body weight. So for me, about 187 today times 0.3 gives me about 55 grams of fat. Um, don't go lower than that. You, you could, but recommended not to, I guess. So eggs, half of an onion, some six, four, seven bread some spinach, and some prepped chicken breast. All right, here we go. A little bit messy, but grilled chicken sandwiches with two whole eggs, some spinach, some onion, on four slices of six four seven bread now one last thing to finish it off of course need some 
some hot sauce, some uh, Texas Pete hot sauce. Really get some flavor in it. Yeah, just, just, yeah, just dredge it. Just dredge it. And of course, can't forget my guy, Seb Up. Macros are right there. And let's eat. All right, so that was meal number two. Like I said, six, four, seven bread, grilled chicken, two whole eggs, spinach, half an onion. The reason for the six, four, seven bread is I've been trying to up my fiber and that one is super high in fiber with low cal. So on the package label actually is 40 calories a slice, but that's excluding fiber. Uh, fun fact. Fiber is both insoluble and soluble. So if it's insoluble, then it's just gonna pass right through you and the calories don't count. But if it's soluble, then your body actually does absorb it and there are calories in there, same as a, car, a gram of carb. So four calories per gram of soluble fiber. A lot of people don't count fiber for those reasons, but I count it because I'm a mental case. But Tom, how do you know what fiber is soluble and what <laughs> so That's a soluble. great question, Kenz. Uh, you don't unless they tell you on the package, which they don't. So another reason why I count it, because they don't say, oh, this is insoluble fiber, and this is soluble. So a safe, a good plug. A safe thing you can do is just use two calories per gram of fiber, and then you go halfway, right? Because half soluble, half not, half half calories. So two grams or two calories per gram of fiber. Bang. Win win. Sounds good. Sounds good. For me, though, it, every gram of fiber counts. So 65 calories a slice per 647 bread. In my book, According to their book, 40 cows per slice, and it tastes really good, right, Ken? Tastes like normal bread. Tastes, yeah, it tastes like normal I bread. I consider that really good. Yeah. But you also crave pieces of celery. So. I also eat celery sticks for fun, and think spinach tastes good right now. All right, catch back up. They're they're coming grocery shopping with us today. Great. Probably GoPro mode. Great. You're hurting their feelings. Sorry, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go grocery shopping in a bit, but in the meantime, we're gonna get down and dirty with some recovery. So, after the gym, I like to start my recovery early um, of course after getting my high protein meal in 
Uh, for reference, before the gym, you want high carbs. After the gym, you want high protein to start building up um, your muscle recovery, the muscle protein synthesis. Get the anabolic signal back up to outweigh the catabolic signal that just happened in the gym. And so, as you saw, first meal had a little more high carbs. Second meal, there's about 100 grams of protein. And talking about the, the nutrient timing window, don't get too caught up that you need protein immediately after the gym. That's very highly debated and still open up, still open to interpretation. But if you care about the meal timing window, 90 minutes from the time that your workout ends is plenty of time to get your protein in to start the recovery. But regardless, at the end of the day, what matters is your total daily protein intake. So that is key. And something just to keep in mind, so the biggest difference between your training and what you're doing when you're in a deficit, when you're dieting versus when you're bulking is your body's ability to recover. That's the number one difference, right? So that's why it's super important to prioritize sleep, prioritize um, your nutrients and recovery, right? Exercise selection, things like that. Because if you over start to overtrain because your body's not recovered by the time you get to your next workout, that's when you start to really do some damage and you start to see some muscle loss and you you just start going downhill in terms of progression, right? You And you also risk getting injured. So really your body just needs more time to recover because it doesn't have all the food, all the calories to re fully replenish itself, to give you more energy to get to the next workout. And so that's why you should think that so that's when maybe um, thinking of a more strategic exercise split when you're in deficit is more important right so if you absolutely hammer your legs today you're not going to want to do a leg workout tomorrow or the day after or even three days after um, because good chance if you're in a high deficit your body's not going to be fully recovered and just the pro, the the pro workout won't be very optimal and you're just gonna do more damage. So that's when exercise selection, split um, selection comes into play. That's why I like to do full body. So I'm not absolutely destroying necessarily one body part on one particular day. And it gives me more time to recover by, t by the next time that I'm doing another leg workout or another chest workout, etc. And one last thing I wanna uh, talk about is protein intake, right, is you get leaner. Um, if, if you're prepping for a show, your, your body percentage is really low. Your body starts to use um, protein as a fuel source. And so if your muscles aren't getting that same amount of protein to simulate the muscle protein synthesis, the anabolic effect to help recover, that's when you might need a little bit more protein, right? You might need 1.1, 1.2 grams per pound of body weight just to just to make up for your your body using that as fuel as opposed to for recovery if that makes sense so keep in mind i mean most people one gram per pound body weight is plenty but if you're getting sliced and diced then think about maybe adding a little bit more protein into your diet when the time comes all right time to relax relax and we'll catch up up in a little bit to go grocery shopping i'm gonna watch some avengers endgame and do some of this guy whatever avengers is on tv no matter how many times i've seen it i could watch it again it's they're fantastic all right see you later First stop, Sam's Club for the protein. And then we gotta hit up Stop and Shop. 
and all of these, but those actually gonna come a little bit later. Sam's Club closes in less than 30 minutes. So we gotta make that stop now and then off to the others later. No, no GoPro, but like Ken just said, it's it's what time? Walkie time. Walkie time with Blair. Blair. Oh, you're taking a squirrel with you? Blair. Blair, where do squirrels belong? She said woof. But you can't take him with you. I know you want to, you can't take him with you. She said they belong outside. They do belong outside, but he stays inside, Blair. We can't take him on a walk. Who got that squirrel for her? Zach did. Uncle Zach. Uncle Zach. Zach, if you're watching this. Shout out. Shout out to you. She's got one of your little chippy squirrels in her mouth right here. She wants to take him outside on a walk. Blair, can we leave him here? She, she said nah. All right, we got two of three grocery trip stops in. Um, and it's about seven o'clock. Take advantage of some of the daylight and nice weather. And then we're gonna eat meal number three and then finish up grocery shopping at Stop and Shop. And to hold over until the next meal, one scoop of Ghost Amino with plenty of water, keep me hydrated, keep me full, keep me going. 
Alright guys, 8.17 now, meal number three. We missed the three to four hour gap that I wanted for, but you know, life happens. Blair needed to go on a walk. So it's been a little over five hours since the last meal. It's okay, life happens. Yeah, as long as you get your protein in, your calories in, good to go. Alright, so meal number three is going to be some celery that it doesn't i don't count this because your body uses the same amount of energy to digest as it is in the actual celery itself so don't track that we got a full onion over here and we have some uncooked shrimp which obviously are going to be cooked right with some lemon pepper 364 grams i couldn't get 360 i could care less protein Here's some Tones lemon pepper, that no calories. And then we're doing one whole egg, two egg whites. You know, I do this separating myself, right? Uh, I'll show you in a bit, but so we're ready to go. Oh, almost forgot, almost forgot. The spinach, of course, you know. Gotta throw that guy in. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. You know, first start, you know, spray the pan. That was zero calories, right? We'll say it was. So throw the shrimp in. Kind of you want to get some of this action here. Nice, get it nice and steaming. Get that in there. Let that cover up for a little bit. In the onions now here. Love me some onions. All about voluminous foods, right? Yes, he always has onion breath. <laughs> it's all about the volume, right? I'm desperate for things in my mouth right now. Let's throw. That's the last time I give you my assisticans. That's a lie. All right, throw that in there. We'll leave it on medium for a few seconds. All right, here we go. One whole egg. Now the egg whites, the fun part, right? separate don't buy egg whites in a carton waste of money all you got to do is play around with the yolk you know like that bang good two large eggs is about 70 grams worth of egg whites of course, log that bad boy. Now, I'm gonna let that sit for a few, and then we'll throw this guy in. So as that's cooking, I'll let you know the macros. 442 calories, 81 grams of protein, four grams of carbs, eight grams of fat. That's just fantastic, 81 grams of protein. So, so far, just to recap, breakfast had 21 grams of protein, lunch had 85 grams of protein, dinner, 81 grams of protein. So you want 20 to 40 grams in each meal, at least four meals, ideally. And so we're, we're meeting that criteria there for optimization. And then after this meal, we're gonna do anabolic ice cream, which I'll get to after we make one more grocery stop at Stop and Shop. And it's about 8.30, so we have we have to kind of hurry up to get there. It closes at 10. Um, but yeah, Ken's and I like to do our grocery shopping on Sundays, get everything ready to go for the week because we're super busy, right? Sure. Sure. You're super busy. I, you're sometimes busy. I'm busy cuddling Blair. That's a good point. All right, guys, time for the spinach. As it's cooking, see that? All we're gonna do, right, we're just gonna throw a heaping handful worth of spinach in there. 
Nice, nice. Cover it back up. Increase the heat a little bit. And it'll be ready in a few. It'll be right here when we get back, right? All right, here we go. Appearance three at best. I call that, I don't even fucking know. Um, vo shrimp volume, just straight vegetables and shrimp. But we are bodybuilders. We eat for nutrition, not taste, more times than not. Solid five pounds, all that volume. 442 calories macros posted again right there we have more swimming up coming and once again more texas peats to finish it up meal number four another meal down after another probably four minutes and it's getting super late now. 8.40, Ken's and I have to go hit up Stop and Shop before it closes. So I'm not gonna take the GoPro with me, but when we get back, I'll show you guys everything I got for the day that lasts me about a week's worth of prep. We'll get her in the video. Oh, sure, so you get to hold her. All right, guys, so Blair clearly likes me better, so we're gonna have her help me through what we got to eat here. All right, so, so obviously every morning starts with s'mores one bar, so here we go. That's breakfast every morning. Um, we can start over here on the vegetables. So three bags of spinach. I will go through every single one of them. We have a bunch of celery stalks. We have some zucchini, super low cal, uh, really good for volume to really fill you up. And then we have these corn tortillas that Ken and I just discovered in the Stop and Shop. Three tortillas, 120 cal, low fat. Um, and of course, old El Paso. These are what, what we've been mealing on for Taco Tuesday, just the crunchy ones. So three shells, 140 calories, pretty good. Really, really good actually. And then of course, 96.4 ground beef for the tacos. Gotta go 96.4. All this will be used within the week. Three pound bag of frozen shrimp. We'll eat every single one of these in a week. Chicken breast, but are you comfy? Look at her, she's, she's heavy. <laughs> Gains. So chicken breast, the whole thing will be gone in a week. Um, then to go with my one s'mores bar every morning, some meal energy, zero cal um, per squirt, but obviously if you dump like a four second hold squirt, there's probably at least five calories in there, but I don't count it. And the best flavor is strawberry pineapple smash. Highly recommend. Some shops has, didn't have sev up cherry, so I had to settle for zero sugar lemon lime sev up. Still pretty good. And then also some diet ginger ale. I go through about one what is a two liter bottle? I go through one of these every two days. What else do we have? So we have eggs. Ken's. I want Blair, not your stupid eggs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So eggs, I will eat every single one of these eggs in a week. Uh, most of the yolks. And then you guys saw earlier, the six, four, seven bread. I eat about four to six pieces of these a day both of these loaves will be gone this is a good amount a good uh this makes up a good amount of my carbs uh all right and last thing so every pre-workout during the week i will make uh anabolic ice cream go oh, up here not blair i know she's you're not as cute. cute i mean not not even close but so 
Every pre-workout, I've been doing anabolic ice cream, four pound bag of frozen strawberries with one serving of light fit Danon. <laughs> I said it right, Danon. Because you read it off the package. I actually didn't because I can't read. So, uh, so one serving of frozen strawberries and then one serving of Danon non-fat Greek yogurt. Really good, helps with the creaminess, high in protein. Um, you guys will see actually the anabolic ice cream in a bit. It's gonna be my last meal. Mix in some um, almond breeze, almond, almond breeze, vanilla, um, unsweetened, 30 cows per serving. There are like two, two servings of this in the anabolic. And then the ghost or any choice of way to go with the ice cream. I think that's it, right? So You forgot the Oreos. No, that's you. That's not me. For my groceries for oh. the week, <laughs> we yeah. have Brookio Oreos and S'mores Oreos. Yep, that, that's it. End it there, right? <laughs> and then you have Blair. Show, uh, show, show them Blair's diet. So she gets chicken thighs. That looks really gross. It really does pan. look really gross, but that's because that's all the chicken fat in there. Yeah. Blair shreds on chicken thighs and her dry food and basically whatever her mom gives her. And her grandma. Oh, and her Cheerios. Oh yeah. Ken's eats Cheerios with Blair every every day for lunch. Blair just hoards them in the corner. And then when you get near her, she'll she thinks you're trying to steal them from her, so she'll start actually eating them. <laughs> All right, so veggies. Let's sum it up here. So let's sum, sum it up. For veggies, spinach basically for every meal, uh, with celery and zucchini and onions. I had onions, so I didn't buy them this week. Carbs are coming from six four seven bread, um, or for my protein bars or on Taco Tuesday from hard shells or from frozen strawberries. I think that literally, I'll throw in a potato here and now, but for the most part, my carbs are all coming from this bread and vegetables. Um, and I'm, I'm on like 140 grams of carbs, so not a lot to work with. Protein coming from large raw shrimp, 96.4 eggs, chicken breast, and then whey slash non-fat Greek yogurt. And yeah, that'll do it. That's the grocery haul. That's what I eat in a week. Um, I'm going to shower up now. We'll do a physique update. I'm gonna make meal number four. It is a little past 10 now. That didn't see it. I think maybe at the very end. Good. It's a little past 10 now. So usually my meals um, are, my my eating window is usually from 8 a.m. to like 9 p.m. Monday through Friday, but weekends we start a little bit later, sleep in a little bit. So like today, Sunday, last meal is gonna be about 10.30. And that, that was about hour and a half for my last meal I can't remember now what was it one time that I eat nine nine thirty sure but anyways the point is you want to eat I at least four like eight thirty eight thirty sure you want to eat you know like four meals a day 20 to 40 grams of protein each meal spread it out a little bit it helps with your satiety keeps you full etc right Blair all right, I will see you in a little bit. All right guys, physique update. It's been probably three, four weeks since I've showed you how the physique has been. I'm actually gonna play back the last physique, which was, like I said, three, four weeks ago. Um, and I said that major strides need to start happening. We need to really start fucking sprinting. And I think we have, right? So. 27 days out from stage, about three full weeks left of dieting before peak week. Um, and this is this is where the physique is at, right? Looking pretty good. Um, so.
still got major strides to go. Like I said, three more weeks. Um, obviously, I'm flat. Carbs are at 140. Um, but, you know, a lot of progress has been made. 187 today, that's down 40 in the last three months. A little bit more left to go, seven more pounds. But I think overall, I'm pretty happy with the progress. Um, I've been reading up on WNBF, men's physique, kind of judging criteria. I've never done it in the past. And for their men's physique um, judging, they actually don't want you to be too shredded. They want you to be a little more, I don't wanna say fluffy, but they want you to be, I guess, more round as opposed to more, having more striation, and more lines. They said they actually deduct points from that. So I'm kind of stuck in between just really wanting to get shredded, but also really wanting to win that show. So I'm like the in-between, right? What do I prioritize? WNBF, which I, I want to get my um, uh, natural bodybuilding pro card for men's physique one day, that's that's a goal. Um, or do I just want to get absolutely shredded for summer shredding? And I think the answer is I want to win WNBF show on June 12th more than I really care about summer shredding because that's just kind of a fun, a thing that I'm doing for fun um, and just for an experience. It's hosted by Guzman. I don't know what his judges are really looking for, um, but honestly, I'm just using it as a time to go to Texas, check it out, but also shred, right? Since I'm shredding anyways, might as well enter. So, and in terms of calories that I've been doing, so last week I did a heavy carb day on Monday, which was 2,700 calories, and every single other day of that week was 1,900 calories, including today. And so if you look at that on a seven day average, that's a little over 2,000, about 2,000 calories. So that's what I've, that's the most recent macro breakdown that I've been following. Um, unfortunately, I'm thinking of going to 1700 or maybe even, or I'm thinking of going 1800, maybe even 1700 this week. Um, and that's something I'm gonna decide actually tomorrow morning based on what the scale says and based on how I look in the mirror. Um, but a tip for you guys is to think about your total calories on a weekly basis as opposed to daily basis. That way, if you mess up one day, or you go over by 500 calories one day, you have six more days to make that right to hit your weekly average to get you back on track. So keep that in mind. Think of your calories on a seven day basis as opposed to one day and you'll be fine. One bad day is not gonna ruin your diet. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys that firsthand once I do my 10K challenge post show. I'm gonna go make some anabolic ice cream and wrap up the day because it's getting close to 11 p.m. on a Sunday night. All right, guys, final meal. It is 11.16 p.m. Sunday night, finishing up. This macro breakdown here is the anabolic ice cream. Macros will be right there with recipe um, I actually switched things up and went with ghost chocolate chip and not as much ice and actually the consistency kind of came out shitty so when I perfect this this is still a work in progress my version of anabolic ice cream when I perfect this I'll share with you guys the, the best recipe thus far but I'm gonna finish up the night with some animal kingdom with my glare and with my pens thanks for thanks for being assistant ken today ken. all right guys and that's gonna wrap up the video um if you're still watching thank you appreciate you taking time out of your day to give the video a view throw a comment down below saying what's up give me a like subscribe to the channel etc um and we'll catch you in the next one thanks again